We recently published a paper uh, called Complicated Pericarditis, and I'd like to review some of the, the key findings from this paper. Let me start out with a vignette about pericarditis. So I, have, I see a lot of patients from uh, out of state, um, and uh, recently uh, there's a 35-year-old woman that came from, uh, from California that had a viral illness maybe three years ago, and has come now with at least 10 to 20 uh, episodes of recurrent pericarditis. And she's coming to Cleveland Clinic to see how we can assess this. So this paper goes over how we would uh, evaluate this patient. So this patient has many, many episodes. So when they come to Cleveland Clinic, uh, we, we do a, a clinical evaluation. Uh, we check some of their lab tests, and we do what we call advanced imaging. And the, one of the key things um, from this paper, the advanced imaging, is uh, to decide whether they have complicated pericarditis. Uh, MRI and echo is very useful. The MRI uh, can assess the different stages uh, of the pericarditis. Is there uh, edema, is there swelling, is there inflammation around the heart? And based on that appearance with the inflammatory markers, we can prognosticate how long it will take. So if they have very severe swelling and um, a lot of inflammation, it can take up to two, three years. So we're using the advanced imaging to basically modulate the therapy. If we see this, uh, that looks very, very bad, often we, we put them on triple anti-inflammatory therapies, and very gradually, uh, we taper the medicines. Uh, the biggest mistake in clinical practice is uh, that the clinician often changes the medicines very quickly. We, we call this the yo-yo effect. We try to avoid the yo-yo effect. So in other words, if we're putting them on triple therapy based on the imaging and inflammatory markers, uh, you have to taper very, very slowly. And in this paper, we talk about um, recurrent pericarditis, multiple recurrences. We talk about the, uh, the different mechanisms based on activation of the inflammasome and some of the uh, emerging therapies, including um, uh, DMARS, something like Imuran, or Anakinra, which is a biologic. In terms of the mechanism, there's a lot of release of the inflammasome of interleukins. So we have now interleukin receptor blockers, Anakinra, which may be very, very useful. Uh, and a lot of our patients are going on this uh, particular medicine. It's a biologic. And now we're also um, uh, advocating to do pericardiectomy for these intractable cases. A lot of these uh, patients, this particular woman, has a lot of side effects from the steroids. So I think uh, pericardiectomy uh, is a major option. So this article, uh, I think, uh, can be considered the Bible of pericarditis, and I advise you to, to read it.